All right, craziest thing just happened today. A brambling, which is a European bird, was just reported in Utah about an hour and a half away from my house at a private residence. The owner, I got a hold of the owner and he's happy to host people. I think today he had over 50 people, 50 birders in his house looking at this brambling. I am heading out tomorrow at 6 a.m. and we are going to try to find that brambling. So wish me luck. I hope we find it. It would be an amazing bird, probably the rarest bird I've ever gotten birding. Yeah, super excited for this trip. I woke up at six the next morning and started my trek to find the brambling. The brambling was seen in Croydon, which is a small town northeast of Salt Lake City, Utah. Croydon is home to Devil's Slide, a popular rock formation in the area and a cement plant as well. Historically, Croydon was called Lost Creek, but was changed to Croydon after Croydon, England, which was the native land of many of the original settlers. This, in my opinion, makes it a perfect stop for a brambling who may be originally wintered in Croydon, England as well although most likely it crossed into the United States from Russia. When I arrived at the home, the Smith family were super kind. They had seats set up in their house for viewing and were just the nicest people. At the feeders, there were plenty of red-winged blackbirds, house finch, American goldfinch, and dark-eyed juncos. It was an amazing feeding station, and even though the brambling hadn't made an appearance for the first 10 minutes, I couldn't help admire the beauty of such a diverse group of birds taking residence in someone's backyard. It was an absolutely amazing spectacle to behold. And then, Weston the homeowner shouted, there it is. All right, so I got the brambling. I got the brambling. I didn't want to film in their home um, just because there was other people there and I didn't want to be rude, but we got the brambling and it is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the best experiences I've ever had birding. I was shaking when I got it because I was so excited to get such an amazing bird. The last time this bird was seen in the state of Utah was 1984 and 1985. That is 12 and 11 years before I was even born. Absolutely amazing. Also, this is the third ever record of a brambling in the state of Utah. So an amazing bird to get. I can't believe we got it. I hope you enjoy a little bit more information on the brambling to follow this segment. Bramblings are common finches of Europe and Asia, Scandinavia, and Russia. It can be identified through its elegant orange and black coloration, finch-like beak, and white eye ring. In the United States, the brambling appears annually in Alaska as it crosses the Bering Sea, but is extremely rare in the interior United States. Normally, it can be found in Russia and Scandinavia during breeding season, and then during non-breeding season, it can be found in most of Europe. It can also be found throughout the continent of Asia, and can be seen in Japan and the Philippines as well. Most vagrant bramblings in the interior United States can be found at feeders like this one. In their home habitat, they can be found in shrublands, savannas, thickets, and tundras, making them a very adaptable finch. In their normal range, they typically spend the warmer months in Russia and Scandinavia and migrate to the UK and Europe for the winter months. The name brambling is thought to have been derived from the German word brahma, meaning bramble or thorny bush. Back home now, and I cannot believe still that I got that beautiful brambling bird. Honestly, this is probably up there for one of the most amazing birds that I've seen during my birding journey. I just want to thank the Smith family for opening up their home to all the birders. Um, if you guys want to do something nice for people who open up their homes when they have rare birds at their feeders, maybe bring them a bag of seed, maybe some suet, just something. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to do something nice for them, I think it's a I think it's well appreciated. As I was driving home, I just kept going like screaming out in joy because I have so much energy right now. It's just an amazing feeling to get not only a new bird, but a bird that's not supposed to be here and hasn't been here for the last 50 years was the last time it was seen in the state of Utah. Absolutely amazing. I'm still baffled that we got the bird and I can't wait for more birding adventures to come down the line. Also to the people that I met there, the other birders, it was great meeting you and catching up with you and just meeting more people in the birding community. It's awesome to talk to other people who are passionate about the same things that, you know, that you are. So uh, nice meeting you and I can't wait to meet more birders down the line. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and we're almost there. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Brad Eyed Birding.